Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Javaya. If you are new, welcome. Please feel free to check out my content. Let your girl know that you'd like to be here and subscribe to my channel. If you are already part of the Get The Family, welcome back fam, welcome back. Y'all, y'all are in for a little treat today. I'm gonna to show you how to make this super cute, fun, and easy back to school project. I posted these custom back to school envelopes on my other social media platforms, and I have gotten a really great response. I have asked the community if they were interested in learning how to make these, and you already know what they say. They said, yes girl, we are interested, okay? And so that's why I'm here today. I'm gonna to show you how to make these yourself. Now these are great for those schools that haven't fully gone digital and for teachers and for parents to securely transport important documentations, doctor's notes, permission slips, monies for you know specific school events or occasions that may, may be taking place at the schools. And this is going to be super cute and fun for the kids because they're gonna get excited about, oh my goodness, you know, I have money to pay for a book fee or to go on a field trip and I'm gonna give this to my teacher so these are great now um, you only need a little bit of supplies I am using um, the number 10 envelopes today I got them from Walmart and just a standard inkjet printer no specialty printers no specialty inks is needed to complete this project I am also going to be designing in Canva okay um, you can use whichever creative software of your choice but in today's video, I'm going to be using Canva and I am also going to be leveraging Silhouette Studio to print out our envelope. So I'm going to show you all of the steps and I hope that you guys enjoy this. So if this is something that you're interested in learning how to make yourself, you already know what to do. Please stick around. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time your girl uploads a new video so without further ado let's get started <laughs> all right y'all i'm gonna start off here in canva.com if you are going to be using Canva, I highly recommend using the Canva Pro version as you have access to a whole bunch of amazing elements, clip arts for your designing needs. And today I am going to be using Canva Pro because I am a Canva Pro member. The first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to create an envelope number 10 templates. Now, this there are two ways that you can do it. The first way is you can come over here to custom size and you can type in the dimensions of the envelope. So according to the number 10 envelopes that I have, the width is 9.5 and the height is 4.125, okay? And then you can go ahead and create a new design. Or you can search envelope number 10 templates and Canva will provide us with a whole bunch of templates that they offer. So envelope, and you have number 10 here. They also offer a whole bunch of other size envelopes, um, envelope A9, A7, A2, so on and so forth. So if you are going to be using a different style envelope, you can also uh, select that here. But I'm using the number 10 landscape. And then here on this page, it will show you a whole bunch of beautiful templates for these number 10 envelopes so dope but today i'm going to use a blank template because we are going to be customizing our envelope so here is our number 10 envelope canvas okay and this is going to be where we're going to be designing so the very first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and add in some text so i'm going to head over here to where it says text add a heading and I'm going to type in date I'm going to change the font and I like this font here it's a kids font so what I did was I typed in kids in the search and then I because this is going to be for children you know you want to make it fun but I still wanted the font to be like legible 
So I chose Handy Casual and that's what I selected. And then I brought date up like this. Then I selected Duplicate and I'm going to change this and type Teacher. Delete, make sure you delete date. And then I typed in teacher, okay? So I'm gonna put this over here like so. All right, so let me make this a little bit bigger. Oh, and let me get rid of one of these here, okay. So now I'm gonna go in and add in a underscore line. So I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to type in line I'm make sure that I have all selected. I'm going to select this first line here, and then I'm going to drag it upwards like so. Let me zoom in and make this smaller because dates are usually not too long, okay? And for me, this line is a little bit too thick, so I'm going to select this line, and right here on the line style, I'm going to adjust the, the line weight here gonna make it four you can make it as thin or thick as you want you also have the options to um, have the lines dashed like this and rounded in points if you want it so line weight one for me okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to bring it to the other side by where teacher is. And I'm just going to actually make it longer in case the teacher's name is a little bit um, long. The teacher's name is long, I should say. Um, I'm going to select date and the line group and group that. I'm going to bring this over and then I'm going to select teacher and the line. Bring it over like so. And I'm just going to make this line a little bit longer. Okay, take that group, and now each of these are one element. Okay, they'll all move in one piece. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in more text. I'm gonna head back over to the text, add a heading, and I'm going to type in a name. I'm going to just use Riley Smith. Okay, I'm also going to change the font back to that handy casual font. Enlarge this. Okay. Then I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to change the color to pink. Okay. And with this name, I'm going to add an effect. So I have Riley's name highlighted. I'm going to select select effects and these are the style effects that you can choose from and I like this outline effect so I'm going to select outline okay and as you can see here it gives the name an outline with like a darker maroon color okay and you can go ahead and change the outline color here you can thicken the outline uh, thickness if you want with this thickness here you can change the color here Okay, so I really like this as well. Now I'm going to add in a clip art. So because I already selected my color first, I am going to find a clip art that matches this color or I could just easily change the color if I want. So I'm going to type in unicorn and I'm gonna select graphics. And I'm going to choose, you know, a cute little unicorn. It doesn't matter. You have a whole bunch of options. And the reason why I highly recommend the Canva Pro is because a lot of these clip arts are for pro members. And they are so cute. You can get a bunch of amazing, really super cute and fun clip arts um, with the free version. But the pro version has some really nice ones, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one right here. And you can scroll down and, you know, search more for the ones that you like. If you see um, this 
crown and you hover over it, it's going to say pro. If you are not using a pro version of Canva, you are unfortunately unable to, um, to use the pro clip arts. But again, there are a bunch of free ones here. Okay, so this is the clip art that I'm going to use. I'm just going to just play with the sizing a little bit. And that came out pretty, pretty dope. I actually really like this color combo, so I'm going to leave it as is. Um, if you wanted to change the colors, all you would do is highlight the name, go back to the text color, and then you can go ahead and change your colors here using the uh, color wheel. Okay, or you can use... Uh, these default colors from Canva. All right, so depending on your clip art and the colors that you want to use, you can go ahead and match things up that way. Now I'm going to go in and add in the text for our options. Okay, so I'm going to head over here to where it says text. And um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to select elements because I want to grab a circle. So I'm going to type in circle. And I want to use this one right here. If I click on the three dots, it says circle. It is a free icon circle. So you can use that in the free version of Canva. Um, some tags are circle, round shapes. And this is the one that I use here. If I click on this eye, it says all Canva users get this image for free. Okay. So I'm going to select this one right here. Okay, and here it is on my canvas. And then I'm just going to just adjust the size and make it small. Zoom in. And make this small like this. Okay, now I'm going to go in and add in my text. So I'm going to head over here to where it says text. Add a subheading. And this one is going to be lunch money. I actually want to make this all caps, lunch, money. And I'm going to just drag this over here, right next to this circle. Like so. Let me select both and then just bring this down because I don't want it to interfere with Riley's name. Okay. Now I'm going to select the text, lunch, money, and I'm also going to change that font. And I'm using the same font throughout this entire design because I really like this font like this okay i'm actually going to make this circle a little bit smaller and then bring this down like that then i'm going to select both and i'm going to select duplicate and i'm just going to align this right underneath like so and then change this text to permission to permission slip and you can use which um whatever options you want to use you can you know create your own list of options whatever you feel is going to be necessary for your child or if you are a teacher whatever you feel is going to be necessary for parents Okay, my my kids haven't their school haven't gone fully digital, so these would be so great for them. Keeping and for us too as parents to keep track of, you know, important information and you know, uh, school events, permission slips, doctor's notes, things of that nature. So, I'm going to continue to go ahead and do the same step over and over and then we will continue. Please note that I am making sure that everything is aligning up and I am using the guidelines here just to ensure that everything aligns perfectly and nicely. All right, y'all. So I finished inputting all of my text on this side. I'm going to select all of this. And I'm just going to enlarge it slightly like so. And while I still have everything selected, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. I'm going to take this duplicate and bring it over to the other side. And then I'm going to continue to add in the rest of my options.
All right, y'all. So now that I've inputted all of our options here, I noticed that these are not aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this side and I'm just going to align it with the other side. Okay, so just want to make sure that everything is aligned. Okay, y'all, so now that I have everything close to perfect, if not perfect, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and continue to design. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, select teacher and I'm actually just going to ungroup it for two seconds because I want to take this line, duplicate it, and bring it here right next to money four. Make it smaller just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing, duplicate it, and I'm going to put it right underneath other. Then I'm just going to take teacher and the line again. Make sure you're not t touching the name because you don't want the name to be grouped. Unless you want it to be grouped, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag, bring this down a little bit right here, and then just group this back. Okay, bring this back up. And I am using those magenta lines to help me, you know, get a good idea of where the center is per this area here. Okay. So this looks pretty good for me. I'm actually going to enlarge Riley's name. And once you have everything in place, you can, you know, adjust your placement and where you will want things to go. And I'm just going to also make these texts a little bit larger. And then, you know, just play around with the placement of everything, okay? And literally, y'all, that is all. That is all to it. We are finished designing. Now, if you wanted to make more, all you would do is just simply duplicate the page and you will have another duplicate. You can change the name. You can change the clip art. And there you have it. There are your envelopes, okay? So now I'm going to show you how I print. Now, I do not print from Canva. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to show you actually. So let me come up here and let me just put in um, a new title. Let's just do custom. Whoops. Let's just do custom envelope. Riley. I'm going to put sample. Okay. Did I spell envelope wrong? I did. <laughs> I did. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select share and then I'm going to select download, okay? And then I'm going to leave it as a PNG. I'm going to increase this size and what that's the, what this does, it, it um, gives you a higher resolution, okay? I just learned that. Big shout out to Tina from Transfer It. She sells uh, DTF transfers and she shared this trick with me. I am not going to um, have a transparent background. I want to leave this white background. Then I'm going to go ahead and select download. Once the download is finished downloading, it's going to appear here on the left hand side at the bottom. So I'm going to click that. Okay. And then here is our designed envelope. Now I'm going to try to attempt to print. I'm going to select Control P on my keyboard or my keypad, and it will be Command P on a Mac. I am using a, a Windows. And I'm going to select my printer, and I'm going to choose my Epson ET15000. My orientation is going to be in landscape because that's how we designed our design for our envelope. One copy is fine. I'm going to print from my paper tray. Here for paper size, we have the option to select envelope number 10. Okay, so I'm going to select that. And as you can see, I can see my print pre preview here. And it is cutting off 
my design. So based on what I'm seeing here, I automatically know that my envelope is not going to print properly. And I can't figure out why this is happening here. The paper type, I'm going to select envelope. Photo size, I wanna leave it at full size. Page margins, um, I keep it at normal. And then here where it says fit, I, I try shrink to fit and that's what happens. So either way, things are gonna get cut off and I don't like that. Now, when I attempted to try to print with my other Epson printer, which is the ET2800 series, it was a little bit different. I did the same thing. And you see here, um, you want to be sure that you have a printer that allows you to print um, envelopes anyway. For the fit area, when I changed it back to fill page, my clip art is getting cut off. So shrink to fit, and then that's what I have here, okay? If anyone knows how I can resolve the issue with my Epson 15,000 printer not printing my envelope correctly, please leave a comment down below. I would truly appreciate it so much. I don't want to use the Epson 2800 series printer, so I'm going to print from Silhouette Studio, okay? All right, y'all, so here I am in Silhouette Studio. The very first thing that I'm going to do is change my canvas size. So I'm going to head over here to the page setup panel. And I'm going to change it to 9.5 by 4.125. And as you can see here, my orientation is in a portrait orientation. Once I select enter, my orientation automatically changes into a landscape orientation because these dimensions is the dimensions that most computer recognize as an envelope number 10. So it's automatically going to default to a landscape orientation, okay? So here is our canvas. And let me just zoom out a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my design. I'm going to head over here to where it says File, Merge, Find a Design. Here's our design. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more. And then I have to make this smaller. So as you can see, I, when I saved it from Canva, I saved it as a PNG file, but with a white background. I prefer this way over having a transparent background. Um, or you can save it as a JPEG or a PDF file. Whatever floats your boat. For me, having the, black, the white background works perfectly. Number one, it's not going to be and nothing is going to be affected because the actual envelope itself is white anyway. And then for two, you have it saved as in a specific size. So when you adjust the size to fit the actual size of the canvas, it won't make a difference anyway. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> but you can do whatever it is that you feel is going to work best for you. This way works best for a moi. Okay, and I'm just showing you guys my way of how I'm doing things. Okay, so I'm just going to just play around with the sizing a little bit more. What you want to pay attention to is you don't want it to be larger than the actual canvas. Okay, you see how my design is larger than my canvas. You don't want that. You just want to make sure everything is aligned perfectly. So when you print, there won't be any mishaps, okay? So that looks pretty good. Now it's time to print, y'all. So I'm going to head over here to File, Print, C Control P will work, or you can select the little print icon right here. I'm going to select Print again. I'm going to find my printer, which is the Epson ET15000. I'm going to select Preferences. If you are going to be using any Epson products, um, I highly recommend that you install the drivers for the printer, okay? So my uh, paper source, I'm going to be printing from the paper tray. I have printed from the paper cassette and it worked perfectly. I just don't want my envelope to be bending 
when you are using a paper cassette, you're, you're feeding the envelope or any paper or any media at that through and it, it's going to bend and then print. And I don't want that with this envelope, okay? My document size, again, I am going to be using the envelope number 10, which is here. This right here is very important. This is one of the reasons why I'm printing from Silhouette Studio, okay? Right here, I can select this minimize margin. This pop-up is going to come up. It's just, you know, giving you some information on the printable area and, you know, read this, right? You just want to select OK because nothing is going to happen. It's actually going to be helpful because it's going to allow your envelope design to print the way that you need it to be printed, OK? Then right here where it says orientation, you want to make sure you select landscape. My paper type, again, is going to be envelope. And I select envelope because we're printing on envelope. So the printer is going to know the type of thickness and how much ink to display on the envelope because that's what we selected. My quality is going to be high because I want to have a nice high quality print. And my color is going to be color. Now, what I'm going to do left on this page is select print preview because I want to see the print preview prior to me printing. I am going to also come over here to where it says more options and I'm going to select custom right under here where it says color correction, okay? I'm also going to select advanced. Right here where it says color mode, I'm going to change it from Epson Vivid to Adobe RGB and I want to make sure my color gamma is 2.2. I'm going to select OK, OK, apply, and then print. And then here is our print preview. This is how our envelope is going to print our design. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to load the envelope into your printer. Here I am at the printer, and this step that I'm going to show you is very important. I'm going to show you how to adjust your printer settings to ensure that it matches your printing preferences, okay? This is very important. You wanna make sure that everything is cohesive and matching together. So here I am at the home screen and I'm going to slide, whoops, I'm going to slide over to where it says settings. Then I'm going to select general settings, printer settings, paper source, settings and then here paper setting now i have my two options here i have my paper cassette and then i have my paper tray and since i'm going to be printing from my paper tray i'm going to click uh select this arrow and select paper tray now i already went ahead and adjusted the paper size and the paper type all you would do is select paper size and choose your size of choice. In this case, I'm going to be using that envelope number 10. And then for the paper type, you would do the same thing. In this case, again, I will be using envelope, so I have chose envelope. If you are using any kind of other media, you can select it there and so on and so forth. I'm going to select close and click on the home button. Now we are ready for printing. All right, y'all. So here is the number 10 envelope. Here's the front. And here is the back. You can see that we have the flaps here, okay? So you, it's very important that we print on the correct side. So because I'm going to be using the paper tray, which is the tray feed in the back, I'm going to make sure that I insert my envelope this way with the point of the flap facing towards the right like so, okay? So that's how I'm going to feed it into my printer paper tray. If you are using the cassette on your printer, when you uh, slide out the cassette slide, it will tell you how to place in your envelope. So it will be the same way. Your flat will be facing upwards and you just slide it in like that. You also have these right here that you will have to adjust. And it is the same thing with the paper uh, tray in the back you will just have to try adjust the slides to fit the envelope size okay
Right, y'all so here is our finished envelope do not come for my nails okay your girl has to get them done let me do this because y'all not about to be clowning me <laughs> and my nails <laughs> but this is the finished product and i love it now i do see that i have some smearing at the corner there i just gotta clean my print rollers if that happens to you that is okay just go in with a uh, micro fiber cloth and clean your rollers and then as you can see, this is the back. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. Love it.